Sounds like a lot happened here. What hasn't happened? This area is where Tevinter Magisters destroyed Arlethan's city centuries ago. A lot of blood magic during the war. And now? Whatever Solus did stirred up everything again. The old blood magic from the war never went away. Ancient relics appear out of thin air, ruins float. It's like an old wound that never healed. And now it's bleeding again. Rook, you ready to go? Harding, you sure you're up for this? I'm fine. I need to get back in the fight. Then let's go. I've never seen fog this thick in Demeta's Crossing. This isn't right. The dock usually has people bringing goods to market, bartering and shouting. It's always busy. Something happened here. Stay sharp. It's so quiet. Too quiet. Where is everybody?
It's market day. People should be out selling eggs and buying bread. But everything's just abandoned. They barricaded the main entrance into town. To keep something out? No, to keep something in. Inside. Listen to the mayor. Hello? I don't think he can hear us. We'll be rewarded. Oh. No, you can't leave. Hey, can you hear me? Just stay here, and everything will be fine. Someone uses the powerful magic to dominate the minds of these villagers. To search for survivors. Let's see what we can find. Fan out. Spices to us, the best in Arlevin. I can't believe this happened. Is that an Aravel on the roof? The blight must have lifted it up there. is weird. Ever seen anything like it? Never. The light's usually dead, static, but this is alive. What was that? Something big. Stay sharp. Over there. Two more survivors. What's going on here? Find the Veil Jumpers. Bring them to the mayor. They're talking about Jahel and Milva. They said bring them to the mayor. If we find the mayor, then maybe we'll find your friends. Why were they looking for Veil Jumpers? What did the mayor want with them? people.
Milva. Another veil jumper. Lara. Jahel, he's alive. Belara. We're, we're going to help you. We'll get you down, Jahel. No, listen. The gods... The gods have returned. I saw them. I heard their voices. The gods did this? A blood ritual to release the blight. And the villagers, they said they needed power. Valara, be careful. Sounds close. the mayor of this town the village the people are they uh... blighted dead all of them you gave them to the gods didn't you didn't you they were in my head infecting my thoughts they made me do it please help me You're not going anywhere until I get the full story. I tried to protect people. You have to believe me. The gods told me to lure the Veil Jumpers to the center of town. The others were to be rounded up and kept safe. They would be the first to witness the glory of Gilanane's new creation. She showed me gold. So much gold. So you brought the Veil Jumpers to the middle of town? For a blood sacrifice? Because the gods needed power. Did you know what the gods would do? The Veil Jumpers, they were just strangers. I thought if they were taken first, everyone else might be spared. So you did know? The gods exploited his greed and fear. I'm supposed to feel sorry for him? I say we leave him right here. But I'll die. The blood! Everywhere, what if the dragon comes back? If we let you go, you'll run straight back to the gods. They were in his head. Their influence might linger. I understand what they do now. I won't be tempted again, I swear. 
Rook. Let's get him out of there. What? This entire village is dead because of him. I know. Then why spare him? We don't kill people, not like this. We're not murderers. We're not like the gods. Thank you. I didn't ask for your gratitude. Then, if I may offer some advice, steal yourself. I felt their power. The promises they make, it, it's irresistible. Then try harder next time. Don't make me regret saving you. Yes, of course. But you should be worried about the rest of the world. Or this will be our future. The fade had opened, and the gods were free. Thanks to Solus, they'd woken up to find their empire, their subjects, even their fellow gods, all gone. But they still had the power of the Blight, and corrupting a village was just the start. They made plans to tap more of the Blight, all of it, to rebuild their empire. As a path to power, it had its costs. And everyone would pay for it. Did you find our scouts? They're dead. I'm sorry. Elgrenon and Gilanane sacrificed them in some kind of ritual. Creators. What about the rest of the village? The ritual spread blight everywhere. The entire village was overrun. The few who survived are controlled by blood magic. Their minds are gone. Elgrenon and Gilanane used them like puppets. I dare say it was a show of force. They will not rest until you are on your knees, fearful, cowering, helpless in the face of such power. Lady Morrigan? Tis simply Morrigan to you, Scout Harding. What a pleasure to see you again. Rook, this is Morrigan, an old acquaintance. I thought she could help. Morrigan helped the Inquisition when Varric and I were part of it. She knew more about ancient magic than anyone, except Solus. Twas both pleasure and necessity to help then, as it is now. Stopping Elganon and Gilanane shall require many hands. So, who are you exactly? I have borne many appellations. Advisor to Orle, Witch of the Wilds, friend to the Inquisition. My place here, however, is but a humble advisor on matters arcane. Witch of the Wilds? An honorific, born of rumor and exaggeration. The fearsome reputations of your opponents, however, are duly earned. This dark turn of events shall only become worse. Then I look forward to your help. How refreshing. 
Your cooperative nature is appreciated in return. What can you tell us about all this? As dangerous as Solus himself may be, his imprisonment of the gods was just. To leave them unchecked would have been the very end of Thedas. Just to be clear, you know your old friend Solus is actually the Dreadwolf. So I have come to learn. It rather explains how he knew such a great deal of ancient elven history, and why he became so vexed when I attempted to explain it to him. Whilst I cannot claim the same depth of knowledge, the knowledge I do possess is yours for the asking. I hope it helps. For all we know, the entire world will look like Demetis Crossing once the gods are through. This is our fault. When we interrupted Solus's ritual, the gods escaped. Would those feelings not be better used to put things right? But how? Set aside your notions of godhood and see them for the ancient, powerful mages they are. Standing against them shall require serious magic of your own. When you interrupted the Dreadwolf's ritual, did you happen across any of the tools he used? He had a dagger but it got lost in the chaos. Then you would do well to find it. It is better in your hands than those of the gods. Is there anything else Solus might have had that could help us? We're in his, well, he calls it the lighthouse. Ah, yes, the legendary sanctum of the Dreadwolf. Tis said his Illuvian, the Viravas, could travel to any other Illuvian of his choosing. That's not how it works right now. It only goes to Arlithin. I can take a look at it. Maybe fix it, even. I know Alluvians better than most. Any help you can offer, we'd appreciate. If Alluvians even work the same way, all the magic is different now. Our gods are back. Our gods. And they're killing people and blinding the world. How do we stand up against that? None of us can do this alone, but we can stop them together. Bolara, you're one of the only people in the world who can get our Alluvian working. Harding can track down the Lyrium Dagger, and Nev can spot any clues we might miss that give us more information. Let's get to work. There's a lot of fight ahead of us. Indeed. Prepare yourselves well and have a care in your choices. These are the times in which legends are born or slain. In this battle, I shall render whatever assistance I am able. Right. Let's move. You can do this, Lace. It's gotta be done. 